So you may or may not be familiar with the term revenge porn, and you certainly may not be familiar with Charlotte Laws. Charlotte Laws is the activist and the mom who's been called the Aaron Brockovich of revenge porn. She single-handedly dismantled the self-proclaimed empire of pure evil. For more than two long years, she built a case of her own on the side and eventually met with the FBI. Some even started calling her the Erin Brockovich of revenge porn. Charlotte Laws is a women's rights advocate who's working to make revenge porn a crime. Charlotte Laws says her daughter was one of the seven victims named in the indictment. They picked the wrong victim with the right mom. It was extremely difficult for my whole family. It wasn't even just my daughter that was victimized. It was really the entire family because it impacts everybody in the victim's life. Well, getting the photo down was extremely difficult because the website operator didn't want to comply with copyright law, even though we served him with a Digital Millennium Copyright Act notice or a takedown notice. And she will literally have to monitor the internet for the rest of her life to see if that picture comes up again. Laws, who's a former private investigator, began looking into the site. I started doing research on what revenge porn was, and the media was saying it was all about angry ex-boyfriends and ex-girlfriends. And I realized, wait a minute, it's about hacking. Explain about how hackers, like the situation that happened to your daughter, were able to get these compromising photos. He was basically gaining access through Facebook, and he would uh, get into somebody's Facebook account and then get into their email account. But I'm very happy that the plot to hack into people's emails was uncovered. Laws discovered 40 other women whose photos were stolen by the same hacker. So Laws contacted them, compiled a stack of evidence, and took it to the FBI. I had gotten a bunch of victims to come to our house, and the FBI was able to interview several people in one location. It seems that anyone is vulnerable. We had executives, we have people with children, and the pictures are sent out to their kids, to the kids' schoolmates. It's like being a rape victim, like being a traditional rape victim, which is why I call this cyber rape. A lot of the followers of these sites will submit the pictures to your boss, to your grandmother, to your parents, to your Facebook friends. I mean, literally, you feel there's nowhere to hide. These website operators tend to not be afraid of civil law. They're very afraid of law enforcement, and that's why criminal laws are so important. Anybody who distributes a nude or topless picture without the victim's consent, that would be illegal. I've been talking to Barbara Boxer's office about bringing something forth for the entire country, which would be excellent because, first of all, it would be consistent from state to state, mm -hmm. and second of all, you could get around Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act, which currently protects the website operator. One relentless California mom feels like she just got her own bit of revenge. I was um, ecstatic when the arrest happened a few days ago, and I've talked to many of the victims from our group, and everyone else is ecstatic as well, and I'm really hoping that they will do some time in jail. Today, Charlotte Laws is proud to be Hunter Moore's worst nightmare. I'm really encouraged. I'm so happy that law enforcement is taking this issue seriously. And so it's a huge step in the right direction, and it sends a message to these other website owners and to those who may submit photos of victims. The law has not kept up with technology, that's for sure, and it's true. I mean, there are so many pictures there's on the Internet. There's so much information out there. I don't think there's really a way to curb that. Cyber protection activist and diligent mom, Charlotte Law. Charlotte, great to have you on. Thanks for your time. We're going to be Thanks. right back after this.